Welcome back YouTube and here's my second tutorial on how to use Craft Factory. And in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to build and use pipelines and also how to build more complex factories by linking the pipelines and the factories together. So let's get started by building our first pipeline. First we're going to need chests to store our items in, obviously. We're going to need some glass. We are also going to need an iron block. I'll explain what the iron block is for in a minute and why you need an iron block. And you need some redstone and something to power it so you can power your iron block. And you need basic stuff, the wood, and your sign. Let's just start building this by putting our chest there. Not that. An iron block. And then our glass is our pipeline. So we can build this in any which direction we want. Just to make it simpler, I'll make it come back. Doo -doo -doo. Come back. Alright, let's just make these fight facing each other. Let's have this. Pretty simple. Pretty standard stuff. Now for the sign. All you have to do is type in move. That's it. It builds it for you. Awesome, I know. So now we are. Well, I'm going to explain why you need an iron block. The iron block is actually just showing a difference between sending all your items through and only one item through. A gold block means you're sending only one item through and a iron block means you're just sending all of them. General items sends them all. So that's pretty much the difference between those two and you just need it there to send them through. Pretty much it. So let's test this out. Put some wood, your signs in, your chests, and magically, there they are. And so that's pretty really cool, useful at times. So now let's show you how to make a gold pipeline. This is called the other one was called an iron pipeline, this is called a gold pipeline. Now all I need to do is type in move again, and then the item ID I want to be sending through. Let's send planks through because I have some in my inventory already. Let's just put in a whole bunch of stuff, or we could just put everything in. And only one went through. And all of this is still here. This is definitely useful for making huge complex factories. Because you could basically just put your factory right here, then send it to place to other places and it's also more convenient for your factory users to have it like this if your factories are all over here and in a bunch you could just send them back to here it would be super simple so I'm gonna show you a quick trick that is very very useful when building pipelines you can also use to build your pipeline an iron block And why did I add this? Just because, let's say you had a factory way over here or something, and you don't really want to put this all the way around or use redstone repeaters. All you would have to do is destroy your pipeline. Hopefully you didn't build it already. Just extend this out and put it over. But with glass, you can't do that. 
So then all you would have to do is extend it over to your invisible factory. So thanks for watching on uh, thanks for watching my tutorial on how to use pipelines and I hope you watch my next tutorials on sm on smelting plants. Yep, that's what they're called. Okay, see ya.